Hello everybody, this is Bitcoin Macro and in this video guys I'm going to talk about a few coins that haven't done as well as others and I do believe they could be the ones that do fairly well in the near future. Now of course this does assume that Bitcoin does well and currently Bitcoin doesn't look good so I'm just letting you know guys that potentially these are not the greatest buys right now but they could be potentially in the very near future. So the first one is going to be Waves and the reason I want to talk about Waves is because it is one of the oldest ICOs, it had a pretty successful raise back then and it did raise about, I don't remember exactly, maybe it was about 10-15 million US dollars, maybe less, but the truth is that they kept most of it in Bitcoin so they have done very very well and they are very very well funded. Now the project has been chugging along, it's been doing a lot of stuff, uh, there have been several announcements, they've been trying to get into DeFi, into the interoperability business and all that stuff. So it's definitely one that I would say it's good to keep an eye on. And it's also relatively cheap compared to, let's say, Bitcoin, because it's back to where it was when it actually launched. Okay, And if I just look at this chart right here, it's all the way back down to these levels. It did have a nice capitulation. Now, this was a pump in 2017, in mid-2017, the first major out season. Before that, it hadn't really done anything special. And then, you know, this pump was actually when Bitcoin was capitulating towards 3K. This pump was actually uh, on the actual alt season, the final alt season in December and January. It got rejected up here. So it didn't really have that big of a pump at any single point. So Wave is one of those that has had a massive capitulation. And I do believe it could come all the way, like the same way it retested this area right here. It could retest this area right here as well. So it's definitely one that hasn't done very well yet. But because of this formation right here, so we have the capitulation, then sideways. You can call this whatever you want. It doesn't look like a head and shoulders map. You, you could consider it like a bit of that reversal pattern. Um, then, you know, it did well in December and November of 2020 when everything else was dumping. It was quite special because, you know, many other coins failed to keep up with Bitcoin. It was one of the very few that did well. It also did okay-ish in the summer alt season. It was definitely one of the best performers from layer one protocols back at that time. And right now it just looks like it's forming some sort of pattern that it wants to go higher. Clearly it is struggling, but I do believe that it could eventually pop up to this level. So it's one of those that even during this downturn for Bitcoin, it has held very, very well and it has actually performed better than many other coins during this downturn. So the next one is going to be Algorand. Algorand has also been one of those coins that hasn't done well um, recently because it did initially have a nice pump at the beginning of the year, but then it just died down. Nothing special happened. And to be honest, I don't know how well it could do, but I do believe like waves, they are relatively cheap. I do believe they are kind of like some sort of fair value if I could just say that, or they are coming out of pretty large accumulation periods versus Bitcoin. So it's kind of like the downside is a little bit more limited in the sense that they haven't pumped as much as other coins. So for example, right now they have re it has reclaimed this support level right here after a nice massive sideways range right here. We did have that little spring down, we come back up like that a trap down here potentially could be seen like a wake of accumulation and then just consolidating right here and getting ready potentially for coming all the way up here which was the big down move so for example waves i'm just going to start from that uh did have actually a new all-time high versus the usd just a tiny one 
and that's where it topped but it's still looking solid it hasn't had that major um blow off top yet nothing like it so this double top eventually might break and it could lead into a pretty explosive move when that all-time high actually breaks now if we look at algorand for example it hasn't even reached its all-time high versus the us dollar and it has been failing at this level right here now could it come all the way back down to this level potentially yes and even lower i'm not gonna lie look guys these things these are weird tops this is not the way i prefer to see a top but if bitcoin keeps doing very very badly um i don't know how well these coins will do both in bitcoin terms and in usd terms so again you have to be very careful when buying these now if you want to buy them long term by putting in some of your bitcoin and just set and forget just small amounts like i always say this i consider them more like a little bit like gems even though these are much larger you should be treating all the coins that i've been mentioning with a lot of care if you're looking at them long term especially because i don't really believe this is the best time for investing like after three and a half months of alt season after the whole the whole market cap of alts going up 200 percent and the altcoin dominance getting near 50 percent after so many coins have pumped anywhere from 500 to um to 20 to 2000 percent 500 percent to 2000 percent that's a lot okay so we have seen stuff go up plus bitcoin has already gone up since early october about 6x or 7x something like that something massive so of course the market has been overheated and we don't know what's going to come after this little downturn okay maybe it's just bitcoin rolling on its own maybe everything dumps i don't know it's very early to tell because until we see what happens let's say in the in the 44,000 region for bitcoin and then potentially in the 38 40,000 region then it's just too early for me because bitcoin is just getting oversold now bitcoin is seeing hit some key indicators we see it have a little bit of a nice reset but there are still too many longs and the structure doesn't look good yet but i just keep point yet it might turn very bullish fairly quickly so just keep an eye on those coins guys again this is a fairly cheap one compared to where its price has been like it hasn't gone up much and it could have some potential so next one is cello it's one of those guys that in my opinion could do very very well especially because look at this now it has had a key breakout versus the US dollar after having this very interesting chart and it has been listed progressively to more and more exchanges now it was one of those ICOs that happened on CoinList and it's listed on several exchanges so it got listed on Binance earlier this year it's been listed on Coinbase Pro so it's one of those coins on Coinbase that haven't pumped massively some others are like NMR and OXT. And overall with the attention CoinList is getting because of all the ICOs they are doing with let's say Casper and Clover and Rally and all that stuff. You know, may, maybe some people start buying stuff on CoinList as well. So when we look at the USD chart, it looks like it just did have a breakout plus that came with a big announcement from Deutsche Telekoms which has decided to invest in Cello so it's another one that's relatively cheap right here because look at this guys so it has been retesting those highs quite a few times now clearly we do have that resistance right up here which has been a key point which was an old support that broke down so I'm not so sure on how long it will take for that to break or potentially let's say for this one up here to break 
but I could easily see a scenario where we go up here and then we go all the way down here and then just have another nice pump afterwards because I do like the ones that have been testing the same resistance all the time. That was the listing on Binance, if I'm not mistaken, or this one was the listing on Binance. Then it kind of fell the dad down a bit, hasn't pumped much, and it could do well. And it's one of those that has some pretty big backers, guys. And Deutsche Telekom's investing is also big news. So yes, it could eventually just come down here as well to just retest that to feel that inefficiency just the same way that came all the way back down and that came all the way back down. But after that, we might see something like this, just starting from this point right here. So of course, again, it's also affected by Bitcoin too. But if we just look at the USD chart, look at this guys. It's sitting right above its previous all-time high. Very nice. Nice cyclical behavior right here. It came all the way back down. This support held nicely. All those breakouts have been nicely retested, like here and here as well. So it's looking very, very clean. It's a very clean chart in my opinion, and one that's relatively undervalued so next one guys is going to be phantom phantom also got a, a massive investment from ftx a really important one i should say it wasn't like it's not that it was massive but you know when alameda or ftx is investing in you that's pretty pretty important now the chart versus the us dollar looks pretty pretty bad and it might be mostly because of how that chart looks like because of bitcoin because of the bitcoin performance but i do believe that fandom has some very nice listings it's listed on several exchanges but it could get listed on many many more i'm quite surprised that it's still not listed on let's say coinbase and all that stuff and those might actually come at some point but if i look at the phantom btc chart you will realize quickly that eventually this could have at least a fairly nice bump now usually these these massive blow-offs result in a big big downturn but because of how this has been structured if we just look at this when you have resistance here, resistance here, resistance here, and resistance here, when the price comes all the way down here, then it will just find support. So even though it might just fail here, I do believe that initially there could be a little pump all the way up there. Maybe it does a little bit of chop right here, and then, you know, continue higher if it starts breaking below this level right here guys i would just say that it could go much much lower but the point is that if you look at these coins that have had this nice consolidation ranges they do tend to have massive massive breakouts so even though this one is not that much of a coin that you might consider something that you want to buy right now or in the near future or maybe at all but it's just a nice example of the point that I'm trying to make. So if you just look at this and then you maybe compare it a bit towards Waves or Cello or let's say you compare that with Algorand, it would be something very, very interesting and something that I would say you should be keeping an eye on, like that kind of chart. So another one is IOTX, which is also a coin that's relatively smaller than the previous ones and it's also one that came towards its near its previous all-time high now even algorand came near its previous all-time high but now for example this coin had its all-time high in june of 2018 which is very different from let's say algorand which got it a year later 
plus Algorand had just started from a really high point and then crashed down. Whereas this one, it did have a different price action. So like wave some of those coins that are near the all time high versus the USD, maybe that's why that's part of the reason they are pulling back. That's a sign that we did get significantly overbought, especially given the fact that, like I told you, versus Bitcoin alt pumped so much, plus Bitcoin has pumped so much. And that's why we're seeing that correction. Now, maybe that's the top. I don't know yet. It's very easy. It's, it's very hard, excuse me, to tell you from now whether that's the top or not. Usually you judge the top, like either you will have a blow off top and you're like, OK, that's a clean blow off top, like some of the stuff that we've seen in Bitcoin before, because we've never seen Bitcoin top like this ever before. Now, there have been some indicators that I've mentioned before about, you know, that have been signaling the top on Bitcoin, several of them. Uh, but overall, there have been also many, many other signals that have been saying that we're nowhere near the top. OK, and our knowledge based on this, the previous cycles, our knowledge of how this market works, our knowledge of, you know, in general, all the supply having shocks and all that stuff. We do know that the models are showing a much higher price. So I do believe that 64,000 for Bitcoin is a very low price. And that's why I do believe it could go much higher. But now what does this mean for these alts right here? So IOTX recently got a listing on Huobi. And I've got to say, guys, that maybe may people ignore Huobi, but many of the coins that had been listed on Huobi um, have done very, very well. Like the, their most recent listings, at least the ones that have happened, let's say, over the last few months have done fairly well okay now this one has been going into this nice pattern and it does remind me a little bit of iost maybe a little bit of nano there have been like those coins that have been trying to both go higher and go lower at the same time and then that was the last low that kind of failed right here so the price had been rejected on the previous breakdown level the previous support it turned into resistance, but it's now coming a little bit more slowly. So I do believe because it's a low Satoshi coin, it could have a bit of an explosive move at some point. OK, it has a very special chart. It looks very different from many other coins. And that's why I do believe it could have a very nice pump. Now, it might be short lived, but I do believe that from here it could easily pull let's say 100, 150, 200%. So maybe you want to wait for Bitcoin to show some strength first, but it's definitely one that hasn't done too badly on this uh, downturn compared to others. And again, low Satoshi coins, the ones that people consider cheap, might be worth paying attention to. And finally, guys, measurable data token or measurable data token, depending on uh, your preference. So it's another one that came all the way up to it's actually February of 2018 all time high versus the US dollar and it has gone down significantly. Now, again, many of these coins do actually look a little bit toppy if I just look at them all, uh, versus the USD. So you have to be fairly careful right here. OK, I don't want to give you guys too much hope and then that you get burned. But it's one of those guys that it has like only some pretty key exchanges like Poloniex, OKX, Gate, Bittrex and Binance. That's that's the listings and just a few, just one or two smaller ones. But it's tricky because it's one of the fairly old coins that has been going sideways against Bitcoin for a very, very long time. And I do believe that eventually it will have a massive, massive breakout because these massive sideways movements just end to the upside. You can look at STX, one that I mentioned recently. You can look, let's say, at Morpheus, one of the ones I'm going to mention recently. So, for example, I'm just going to start with STX because I think it's a it's a fairly interesting one. So you see, like when you have that like massive sideways, eventually you get a pop like this eventually now 
of course when you get that maybe there is a bit of a throwback here maybe that wasn't enough maybe there is a pullback but if i just look at the previous chart that i was looking at of the measurable data token yes it did make a new high here so it did sweep that previous high but it's listing on binance came at this area right here I, I do believe that it was somewhere around last year and it's probably not listed on binance for more than nine months so yes maybe there is a sweep of the lows right here so i do take all those lows out but then i do believe there is more upside coming for this token right here now i'm not gonna say it's gonna come all the way back up here okay i'm not i'm not i'm not, I'm not saying that but it could easily come all the way up here or even here so it's so it could be a potential maybe maybe i'm saying maybe a potential 10x from here and again those ones that have gotten near their all-time highs versus the usd it's fairly reasonable that we did fail a bit now this one it does depend if you include this price here but for example it is all the way back to those key highs from there now it could come all the way back down to this area right here where the big bump began after the breakout that's that was where it had found support and that might just be because of the bitcoin weakness okay guys so pulling all this way down from here that's potentially let's say 50 percent maybe bitcoin dumps 20 percent and this dumps another 30 percent but right now it is at a little bit of support here it does have a little support in this area that's because of this price increase but i would want to see some strength first because when i see such a high like a really massive failure like this i get a bit worried so it might not be ready yet but it's also one of the cheap ones on binance so people might be interested in buying that because it's low satoshi it's low satoshi coin same with you know our tx that i mentioned before and both of them have had fairly good charts like we've seen coins with very similar structure have massive breakouts at some point now currently they do look a bit weak but eventually i do believe they're gonna pay very very well so that's it from me guys thanks a lot for watching please please like the video subscribe leave a comment just tell us why you like some of the coins that i've mentioned if there are any catalysts i would like to know i always like to get your feedback because you know sometimes maybe i'm missing something maybe there is something coming from this for these tokens that you know maybe the price doesn't show it now but if there is a big catalyst coming you would help me prepare as well so i would like to make this a little bit more interactive also just give me a follow on twitter give me a follow on trading view just come see the stuff that i mentioned there come join my telegram channel where you can get live updates on my thoughts because you know videos are way harder so i might you know post a video and at some point maybe i want to give a bit of an update because the market conditions change so of course i cannot predict everything from very very early on and i cannot make videos all the time to get you guys updated but you know just a tweet maybe a message on telegram or an idea on trading view might be very very helpful so once again guys please like subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll see you on the next one